Hello and welcome back to Ride Rescue. In this episode I'm going to finish up tearing all the interior out of this car uh, and take the top completely off. As much as I hate to do it, there's just no way I can replace this cylinder without taking everything off. Uh, I could just take it loose from this side and lift it up. I'll most likely be able to get it back exactly in the same spot, but if I'm going to loosen it up and take out the cylinder. Uh, it looks like I'm going to have to do the same thing on the other side. I just cannot get to that bolt that I need to in order to remove the cylinder. So I'm just going to go ahead, bite the bullet, take the whole frame mechanism off, take it all apart, clean and paint everything, and just make this top absolutely brand new again. Uh, it deserves it though. I mean, this, this used to be a show car. It could easily become a show car again. There isn't anything on this car that isn't pretty simple to, to just completely clean up and, and restore. So we'll start by removing this front bow and just move back from there. Just lift out the clamping mechanism. should hang down on the rack. It looks like it is sitting on the front of the windshield, so that's good. Just a couple of Phillips screws on each side. Along with the Phillips screw, there'll be a spacer. Spacer. The very first Camaro I did uh, was a 67. This bracket right here was bent and when it bent, it bent just far enough here that it popped out one of the rivets and it actually broke at the rivet. Uh, I couldn't find that part anywhere. I had to uh, have my brother make one. He worked at a steel fab shop at the time. Uh, so he went ahead and, and made the bends in it and cut it out on a pantograph burner. So it was really cool that he was able to do that. And I'm looking at this and it looks to me that it is bent. And there's a pin that has a stop. That, that rests on this other bar. There's another bar here in the back. So there's got this curved bar and this bar in the back. That pin should be resting on that bar. So this is bent and it appears looking at the other side, it is bent as well. So it is a good thing I'm taking this all apart. I do need to, to carefully bend that back where it belongs uh, because this is riveted on. Uh, my Buick Skylark this was all bolted together. So I was able to just take those bolts apart and put in new bushings. Hopefully these bushings are good. They, they feel really solid. There's a little bit of movement in it. Nothing to be concerned with. Um, so I, like I said, I'm just gonna have to carefully bend that to the correct shape. Uh, nothing else here seems to be standing out as any issue, but I'll go through and, and check all these areas. Uh, there is a, a rubber stop right here. That rubber stop is destroyed. Uh, it looks like it's on with the Phillips screw, so I'll have to replace that. It looks like it's destroyed on both sides. Um, it's petrified, so I'll do those as well. And then, like I say, just really go over everything here and make sure all the, the pivot points are in good shape, all the bushings are in good shape. And then I'll clean it all up and paint it, and we'll start putting it all back together. This back bow is bolted on right here. So I'll have to take that apart. And then this arm comes off, and then the whole thing will lift out.
I'll take note of, of the curve of these parts too. So I'll get it back on correctly. I like to put them back in the way they came apart so that you make sure to get everything lined up the way it was originally. why I don't like taking these apart. Getting all this back together and getting it all lined up, all the adjustments, it's a lot of work. But this will be a good experience for all of us. I'll show anybody who's interested in how to do it. These parts you can't see on video. You'll just have to experience for yourself to get to that. Well, the cylinder what makes it so difficult is the hose fitting is back in here when you can't get to it. So you have to take everything apart, take this cylinder hose off at the bottom, and then slide it down and get the top one off. Uh, I don't think this has much fluid in it, so I don't think I'm going to make much of a mess, but. If you want to grab a rag. Well, it looks like this is leaking on both ends. And it's out. This has bushings on the top on both sides. Keep an eye on those. I lost one from my Buick somehow. And I couldn't buy them anywhere. I couldn't find them anywhere. Uh, luckily, I was able to get a hold of a convertible shop that happened to have one lying around on their workbench. But I was surprised how difficult these were to find. Uh, some of these top cylinders come with the bushings. When I bought the cylinders for my Buick, it didn't. <laughs> to put this in my drip pan and press it all the way in and get this liquid out. All right, one down, one to go. Well, as much as I hated taking all this apart, it just makes the most sense. That'll be easy to clean it up too. I can clean it up and paint it. Uh, there's a couple of brackets in here that are bent. Well, I can straighten those out a lot easier without causing any damage uh, or more damage than that is already there. So, like you say, it's, it's a lot more work, but it makes sense to get it all done. So for another video, then I'll go back and, and get all of it sanded and prepped and ready for paint and then start putting it all back together. But before I get into that, I want to tear the dash out now while all of that is out of the way. Tear out the console. So in the next video, I'll start working on that. So thanks again for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Please give me a like if you like what I'm doing. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I uh, appreciate you doing anything that way that helps me out. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Well, thanks again. Goodbye for now.